keeping up with our motto that learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with the remote. Hello students, today we are going to study with lesson number 1 of standard 9, Distributional Maps Part 3. In the previous part, we have seen with Distributional Map, Dot Map and Chloroplate Method. In this, we are going to study with Isoplate Maps. We have seen Counter Maps and Isobar Maps in earlier classes. Let us study in detail the meaning of the word Isoplate. The term isoplet has been derived from Greek word isos meaning same and plethon meaning measure. Thus, isoplets are line joining places of equal value. This value may be in the form of quantity, intensity or density. In isoplet map, when the distribution of a variable is continuous, the isoplet method is then used. Isoplate maps simply simplify information about a region by showing areas with continuous distribution. Isoplate maps may use lines to show areas where elevation, temperature, rainfall or some other quality is the same. Values between lines can be interpolated. In this map, we can see the lines are closer to each other. Then the change in the variable is steep and if the lines are away from each other, then it is gentle. We get an idea of the natural trend of the distribution of the variable with the help of this map. In isoplate method, the highest and the lowest values of the given variable are taken into consideration and accordingly the class intervals are decided and then isolines are drawn for the decided intervals. The isoplate maps give us an idea of the natural trend of the distribution of a given variable. Let us study the merits of isoplate map. Isoplate map shows gradual change and patterns over a large spatial area. Lines join places of equal values along their length. Uses fixed intervals so changes can be easily identified. You can add color, density, shading to enhance pattern trends. In the figure, we can see Amravati district average annual rainfall map. In isoplate map, we need to get the accurate data regarding the altitude, temperature, rainfall, etc. of some places in a region. It is assumed that the difference between the altitude or rainfall of two places change at a uniform rate. The sub-administrative units are not taken into consideration here. And statistical data belongs to the respective places. Such data is known as point-related data. In the given figure, we can see Amravati district annual rainfall. Let us do the map reading. In which part of the district is the rainfall more? Now based on the index and the values given on the map, we can answer this question. The rainfall is more in the northern part of the district. Second, in which direction is the rainfall decreasing? The rainfall is decreasing in the southern direction. What is the lowest value of the rainfall in the district? The lowest value of the rainfall in the district is less than 800 mm. In the map, we can see the highest value of rainfall is 1300 mm, whereas the lowest is 800 mm. Wherever we see the amount of rainfall is more, the values are given more, whereas the shade is darker. As the rainfall decreases, the values decrease as well as the shade also decreases. In the given figure, we can see values of the variable are written on the map at their respective locations. If the data for more places is available, mapping of the distribution can be done more accurately. Now, when we draw the isoplate map, the highest and the lowest value of the variable the class interval is decided to draw the isoplate map, which in turn decide the difference between the lines. Lines are drawn for the decided intervals. 
locations with the same value are joined by the line which it is done in the figure now based on the figure we will be doing the map reading in index we can see the highest value of rainfall is 2400 mm whereas the lowest is 600 mm we will do the map reading for kolapur district average annual rainfall first in which direction is the rainfall more in the district the rainfall is more in the west side direction in the district in which direction is the rainfall decreasing the rainfall is decreasing in the east side direction in the district which class shows low rainfall category in the district now the low rainfall category is shown that is 0 to 600 millimeter class we can see in the index where 600 is written a very light shade is given whereas the rainfall is very low which class shows high rainfall category in the district here we can see the shade is darker where the value is more so more than 2400 millimeter class shows high rainfall category in the district which method has been used in preparing the map the method that is used in preparing the map is called as isoplet method students we have studied with dot method chloroplet method and isoplet method thank you